Hey everyone, so before we begin with our video, we would like to make a small request. Kindly subscribe to our channel and like the video if it helps you and also share it with your friends who may benefit from the same. Hey guys, so in this video we'll be showing how to make a step-by-step -step simulation of the Perturb and Observe MPPT system. So then we'll need a power GUI block to begin with. So obviously, for those who've used MATLAB before, and Simulink extensively, you would know that most electrical circuits do not function without a power GUI block and we'll make it discrete and we'll give the sample time. And once this is done, we need a PV array. So let's get ourselves a PV array. So now we'll give the PV array settings. We'll check the maximum power point as well. So note these values because it will help you in um, you know writing your code for the MPPD. And for MATLAB users of previous versions, that's not 2020, um, make sure you break the algebraic loop. Click on that checkbox there. So once this is done, we'll um, get ready with our circuit. So we need a bus that um, you can view the voltage and current of whatever is present from the PV array because we will need these parameters for our maximum power point. We need go to blocks. Um, these go to blocks will help make the circuit much more simpler and neat. You wouldn't have multiple lines running all over the place. So simple go to blocks and from two blocks will, will make the diagram much more neat and viewable to people who have not designed the circuit. So once this is done, um, we'll select the bus and we'll select the signals that we want to view. So we'll remove the unidentifiable signals that are initially present. So we'll select I and V and press OK and um, once this is done we'll need to rename the go to tags to VPV and IPV and make sure that it's global because you know it will help you even if you put it inside a subsystem So now, once this is done, we'll go forward and uh, add constant blocks for temperature as well as irradiance. So we'll make it 1000 irradiance, okay, we'll do it later. We'll call it irradiance and we'll need another constant block for temperature. So we'll set the temperature to 25 degrees and we'll move forward and we'll need a go to tag of the readings. We'll just need to see the value on the scope. So we'll label it as irradiance. We we'll need a series RLC branch for designing our boost circuit. So um, RLC can be represented in two different ways. One is through ohms inductance capacitance and the other one is active and reactive power. So we'll be using ohms inductance and capacitance. So with the boost, with next to the PV, you will need an R RC circuit, which will try to maintain constant, which will not vary the voltage of the PV significantly. I mean, in, like it will restrict the variation of voltage across the PV terminals for small intervals, but it will obviously charge and discharge as well. So once this is done, we'll need an RL load for the boost converter. So we'll just set the values of 
R and L connector in series and we will also need an IGBT which will act as the switching device in the case of our circuit and of course you need a MOSFET because it's a boost converter So let's place the IGBT and connect it with the RL and the rest of the circuit. So now once this is done, we'll take another go to tag and provide it as the gating pulse for the IGBT. We'll give it a name now as I mentioned earlier we'll take the diode and we'll connect the diode and make another RC branch which is part of the boost converter let's call it different names So now we'll provide the RNC values. To design the boost converter, you can look at our previous videos. Now we'll go ahead and put the resistive load. So we'll give the load value in terms of ohms. So we'll take a resistive load itself, not an RL load, but a pure resistive load. and a voltage measurement block to measure the voltage across the resistive terminals and a current measurement block as well to measure the current that flows to the load So now we we'll take go to blocks to measure the current and uh, voltage for the load. Now let's get the scope and uh, measure all the parameters.
let's change the style of the scope as well for better visibility as well as the layout um, it's my favorite to you know have a white, white background with uh, black axes as well as um, a two point for this video I may not take a two point but usually I take a two point um, thickness To calculate the power, you'll have to multiply the voltage and current of the PV panel. To design the boosting gating pulse, we'll need a DC to DC PWM generator. So the input of this will be the duty cycle. The output that we'll obtain would be the pulses. Input to this is given by the MPPT algorithm. So for the sake of this simulation, we'll be using the perturb and observe uh, algorithm, which we will explain in detail in another video. So this video will be restricted to only the step-by-step -step design of the circuit. And now we we'll need a function block for perturb and observe algorithm as well. So this is the algorithm. Um, so the output of the MPPT algorithm would be the duty cycle and yes so we're using a P endo algorithm as you can see so now let's make the duty cycle also global but before that I have to make a small change in the radius the radiation should be a thousand So now let's go ahead and simulate the circuit. So as you can see for 1000 uh, watts per meter square radians we get the maximum power as well as current drawn and voltage is close to the rated values for that particular condition. So now let's go ahead and change the value of the radians to 500 watts per meter square. So as you can see the power has dropped and so has the current and the voltage as well and it's, it corresponds to whatever is there on the PV panel. So that's it for this video, hopefully it was useful. Do stay tuned for the MPPT perturb and observe algorithm explanation. Um, like the video if it helps you, subscribe to our channel if you want more such content and do check out our other videos. Thank you so much.